Assalamu alaikum alaykum dear students last time we talked about uh, this we had some uh, this grammar and extend and relate of uh, chapter number 1 and now i'm going to we are going to talk about uh, the worksheet portion of uh, chapter number 2 okay it's a worksheet portion uh, i i mean to say that it's uh, learn interesting things okay The story Rikki Tikki Tavi revolves around a curious mongoose. The people or animals in the story are called characters. Characters are of many kinds. Some are good, some are bad, while others are funny like Rikki Tikki Tavi. When you write or study about a character in detail in a story, it's called character analysis. Okay? So Rikki Tikki Tavi is a story that revolves around a curious mongoose. So it is a story whose central character is it revolves around a curious mongoose, okay? He is very curious to know about the things. So the people or the animals that are in a story that are used in a story are called characters. You know, hum characters bolte hain, theek hai? So characters are of many types. character can be good character can be bad character can be funny like we have rikki tikki tavi it can be emotional it can be very hard okay uh, stone hearted okay or uh, who has no feelings for anyone we have characters of many types okay good character bad character funny character uh, a stone hearted a character who has no feelings at all so many characters are there huh? so a characters a characters with many qualities when you write or study about a character in detail when you write about a character or when you study about a character in detail for example there is a person who is working in a drama and you are going to analyze its his character as a, a as an actor you are going to analyze his character as an actor that's called character analysis here are some points about rikki tikki tavi's character who is he i'm so sorry who is he what kind of an animal is he funny curious harmless so here we have Why do you think he is funny? Where are the examples to show he is funny? So, how do you know he is funny when he goes in a bathtub? See, here you have. Doesn't it seem funny when he goes in a bathtub? Isn't it? So he is a restless companion. curious cite examples from the story to illustrate that he is curious so here we have another example that he is curious when he spends all day roaming about the house okay he puts his ink in uh, this he puts his nose into the ink bottle on a writing table he climbed into his big man's lap to see how writing was done and burned his nose on the end of the big man's cigar so when he climbs into the big man's lap to see there we see that he is a curious he is very curious when he sees that how writing was done so there when he goes into the teddy's nursery to watch how kerosene lamps were lit he is curious there and then we have here another that is Mm, no, not at here. Not here. So he is curious when you when we when he goes into the daddy's nursery and sees how kerosene lamps are lit. When he goes into the big man's lap and sees how writing is done, there is there we find that he is curious. He is curious, and how he is funny. He is funny. When he burns his nose, we consider him very funny. he is harmless because he when when he goes into the lap of that man he doesn't harm him he only sees that how writing is done he never harms teddy he goes with him sleeps with him plays with him but he never harms him okay 
so we have here to create combine the points and write the answer in an interesting paragraph you have to uh, this combine these uh, points as we have already discussed that how he is funny has burnt his nose how he is curious he goes into a big man's lap the, the, these are the examples that he is curious when he goes into the big man's lap and sees how writing is done and when he sees how kerosene lamps are lit there we also see that he is very curious so what you have to do you have to combine these points and you have to write these answers in an interesting paragraph okay so here we have unscramble the words in brackets and fill in the blanks we spent a very pleasant day dash around the town so the word which is in bracket it's meaningless and we have to unscramble it it's scrambled we have to unscramble it it's roaming we spent a very pleasant day roaming around the town roaming around the town means town mein ghumna roaming means ghumna okay r o a m i n g so here we have another the lion is a mighty beast b e a s t beast means janwar the shopkeeper has a dash monkey tame monkey tame means paltu the baby was very restless in its cradle r e s t l e s s restless my father is uh, dash a letter there is a uh, it winning so we have to unscramble it this is writing w r i t i n g okay similarly we have here complete the crossword with the words from the story their meanings have been given as clues okay so here we have down Cro complete the crossword with words from the story their meanings have been given as clues okay here we have clues one friend okay let's see this uh, second one down not wet dry d r y here we have d r y then we have third one trained to live among people third one T A M E T A M E means paltu, one who is trained, an animal, one who uh, that who is trained to live among the humans. Okay, fifth one is not cooked. It's O R A W raw. Okay, and then we have across, wander. Fourth across means like this. Okay, down means like this. Across means like this. Fourth we have what? Wander means roam. R O A M. R O A M, and then we have seventh one to be completely under water. Seventh one, D R O W N, drown means to be completely under the water. So first one we have friend that is companion C O M P A N I O N companion. First one is companion, second one is dry. third one is tame fourth one fifth one is not cooked that is raw fourth one is wander that's a uh, roam sixth one is not sleeping that is a uh, sixth one where is yeah this one awake a w a k e awake means not sleeping okay to be completely under water means seventh one it's drown d r o w and okay so we will stop here tomorrow or day after tomorrow inshallah we will talk about part c1 till then stay at home stay safe take care of yourself allah hafiz